All the excitement begins. What sending? It's as boring as watching paint dry. But I'll try to show a little bit of tricks. You see foam and that spray bottle? That's soapy water. And that foam is the soap, obviously. What that allows you to do is uh, keep the part particles of whatever you're sending off in suspension so they don't plug up your uh, sandpaper as much. It also cools the surface of the finish so you don't get as much damage to your finish and uh, lets you do a much better job. It's, it's important on the really fine paper to be doing this. So uh, I found some really cool paper. I think I'll show you some place in this video. It's not even paper, it's, it's a mesh. And it's a five inch disc. And with a, a battery powered sander, you can wet sand under power because no possibility of getting electrocuted. 400 grit, there you go. And that's how it works. I'm gonna speed up lots of this and I'll flip around to parts that are semi-interesting. Okay, I sped this up. This is uh, all the same stuff. Basically, you clean it up, flip it around, clean it up again, get all the garbage off of there, wet her down, sand her down, look familiar. That's the excitement. A couple little tricks on a vertical surface like that, you spray so that the water kind of comes down. What I'm looking for now are spots that are shiny because what you're sanding is going to dull your surface. So I'm basically just doing a bit of spot sanding by hand. There's a dog. He's a good dog. A couple more little spots. All you're trying to do is rough it up enough so that the next layer of varnish sticks. And now we go to the top. Clean the edges again. Your old toothbrush. Works pretty good. It's not really a toothbrush, it's a brush specifically for cleaning uh, spray guns. A little bit tougher. If you put a normal toothbrush into a lacquer thinner or acetone, it, it just melts. Now the front, the part that we all see. So that's a technique to get a nice flat surface. Uh, you balance out the uh, pressure on both sides of the uh, machine. Don't dig anywhere. Basically the first pass is to spread around all the foam and now I'm doing a little bit more careful pattern. Wetting her up again because uh, you can feel a little bit of stick sometimes so you need more lubrication. Eco-friendly. Yeah, I thought I'd use a rag for a bit. You can do it for a little while, but then you end up having to switch rags. Sometimes I spray some water on the surface of the sand or sandpaper itself because it uh, cleans it up a bit. And second try around. What that gets you is a little bit more even surface. Your first sanding basically shows up where your valleys are. You take off the tops of the mountains, figuratively speaking, and all the little resulting areas I'm trying to look through now are the low areas. And I'm again looking for shiny spots because those will be the low areas. And it looks like it's not too bad couple bits of work to do on the side. Again, this is a more fine detail. You want to make sure you do that by hand. Machines are great. They speed things up and you can bugger something up really fast if uh, you're not careful, even if you are careful actually. A little bit of hand work again. And another wipe. We're almost to the point of being done. That's it. 